Element is a tracking style desk, which means that just moves or changes are stored in each queue and played back. Let's look at some examples of the tools and the behaviors that make up the tracking system in Element. To do this today, we're going to go into uh, Blind. And like we learned about earlier, we're going to hit Format to get to Blind Spreadsheet. And that will allow us to see uh, all of our queues down to the left-hand side of the screen and all of our channels across the top. So let's go ahead and navigate to Q1. I'm going to go ahead and say Q1, Enter. And I'm going to add channel 8 at 80%. And because I'm in Blind, as soon as I hit Enter, it's going to store those values into Q1. But what's also going to happen is it's going to allow that value to track all the way through all of the queues that I have stored. So when I hit Enter, you can see that it follows all the way through queues 2 through 10. If I want to make that change only happen in the queue that I'm modifying, I can use my queue only button. So for example, if I say 9 at 40 queue only, Enter, you'll notice that it'll put a value of 40 for channel 9 in Q1, but it doesn't allow that value to track forward. The other thing I can do is modify a range of queues. So I'm going to say queues 1 through 3, enter, and that'll select all of them. If I were to say 9 at 40, that's going to track through just like before. So I'm going to undo that. And instead I'm going to say 9 at 40, queue only, and that will modify those three queues and also not allow that to track through past Q3. Also, when I create a new queue, either in live or in blind, it will track all the values that were in the previous queue. So for example, if I say Q8, enter, it will ask me if I want to create that queue. I'll hit enter to confirm. And you can see channel 8 is tracking through at its previous values.